Alright, hello everybody. Today I am reviewing my first three Hero Factory guys. Mark Surge, Will Furno, and Preston Stormer. Okay, so let's start off with Mark Surge. Very nice figure. Uh, the heads for all Hero Factory guys are like the uh, late 2009-2010 Bionicle heads and then uh, so yeah then each Hero Factory guy comes with one of, sorry comes with one of these uh, I'm get it off one of these Hero cores Colors may vary, but uh, see, uh, there's a little hole right there. Put that in there, and that's how it snaps on. There we go. All right. So anyway, back to the figure. Uh, it comes with these. Apparently, Mark Surge's power is electricity, or something along the lines of that. So he. Of course, he has electric something or others. And then, unless you're colorblind, you can already tell that he's blue. Yes, he's blue. And then, it, and then it, he has this new uh, black thing on there. I'm not really sure what to call it, but black torso piece, I guess. And then the leg armor. I really like the leg armor because look at the leg armor there. You can you can detach it like that. See, and then how you attach is that that's uh, there's that little thing there. Here, let me get it in then. You just attach it to that, like so. So then, really nice figure. Um, nice figure. If you see this guy in the store, I highly recommend for you to pick him up. So, alright, let's move on to... Will Furno. And again, unless you are colorblind, you can ar you can plainly tell that he is red. Very nice figure. I think this is probably probably my favorite out of all three of them that I have so far. So uh, I really like his weapon. With his weapon, what you can do is that if you look at the weapon there, then you can. Fell over. You can take it out of his hands. See, right here. Then, like when he's not going into battle or you're using him for a movie or something and he's not in battle, you can just attach it to either side of his arms. Pretty cool, I think. Get because that. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. And then. So then, see, he can also hold them kind of like twin pistols or something. So then, very nice. Again, removable hero core. Uh, then his helmet. I think his helmet may be the second coolest out of all the figures. Probably Preston Storm is the first, but... Oh, I forgot something with the Surge. Uh, see his weapons there. Then you can uh, do that. See, kind of like a staff. But anyway, back to Bruno. 
So then, you can do that with you can do that with these weapons, but. I really still just like them like that. I think that looks the coolest. So then. Ooh, look at me in my eyes. I up because I'm held up to the light. Ooh, I know. Hmm. Alright, so, okay, I think we're done with Inferno. Let's move on to Preston Stormer. Yeah, here we go. The pro. Alpha leader. Mr. Ice. So that press the door, basically. All right. So same as the rest of the figures. Removable hero core. Nice looking helmet. I mean, <laughs> come on. I'm. That's probably the coolest looking helmet. But anyway, you probably think that this tool right here is attached to an arm, right? Uh -uh. Wrong. Now that really had me confused. I mean, that was very confusing for me at first. I mean, I'm, I'm like, what? I, I was, you know, I was looking through the instructions because really, this is the first one I built. So I didn't really know how to build them, but, but, uh, I was like, oh, come on! So the arm, there's no arm that attaches right there. So I, I was confused, really, to tell you the truth. But anyway, so lower that back down, then. So then this, so I, for, uh. But like, if you're going to use them in a movie or something, I would say this is kind of like a freeze ray type. Uh, it's sort of a freeze ray type thing, because that could, like, shoot off a bolt of ice and freeze someone solid. And obviously that's a buzzsaw. I think that could be for mountain climbing. Climbing, I should say. Sorry. That? I'm not sure what that is. I think it may be a harpoon or something, but anyway. So then... With all the rookies, they all have that pointed chest piece armor, but with all the pros, like Preston Stormer, Duncan Bulk, all those other guys, the armor, each chest plate looks different. So, and then again, movable hero core, like I said already. And then, same with the leg armor, so. Really, I recommend picking up all these sets. So. The really nice sets. I mean, come on, look at this. This is this is really good. Uh, I mean, if this is this will make a very good replacement for Bionicle, but I think Bionicle's still better than Hero Factory so far. Oh, and then also, if you'll notice on the boxes, I'll say down here if you can see it in the light. Uh, from the makers of Bionicle characters. So, yeah. And then I looked on the comic online. Greg Farchty again, like he he's also in charge of the story with. You were factory like he was a punk, so. I think that just about wraps it up. Uh, again, like I said in the review I posted the other day, if you want to see more of my custom clones, then just put five stars, thumbs up, stuff like that on, uh, on that video, and then I guess I'll see you guys later. And also, coming soon, a review for the Deluxe Class War for Cybertron Bumblebee. It is an awesome figure, so I'll be doing reviews on that in a while, and I've wasted about 10 minutes of your life, but never getting that back, but anyway, alright, bye.